welcome back guys and you're watching angel marie tv i'm angel and i just wanted to come at you guys with another video this video is entitled if you haven't already seen the uh thumbnail how to deal with haters so yeah um this is basically how i deal with haters i know that um i'm not the most hated on um, sometimes it may feel like that but I'm not I know that everyone goes through things where they feel like people are constantly trying to put them down or just judge them for whatever reason and um, as I've gotten older I've learned how to deal with those type of comments or people and just live my life the way I want to live it so yeah so how I deal with haters one-on-one -on -one. if you like to see the steps I take to deal with haters please keep watching okay so number one how to deal with haters so um, the first thing is be yourself all the time so it sounds easy but it's like with how society is and all the people trying to influence us to be somebody else or act a certain way or dress a certain way or whatever it's quite hard to be yourself sometimes it's like so you have to figure out who you are and sometimes it takes years to do that like there's some people they're 16 years old 16 years old and know exactly who they are and what they stand for and I think it's amazing but a lot of us out there it takes years to develop a self awareness so you need to know who you are so once you figure out who you are and be happy with who you are I think it is much easier to like dodge the haters or not let the haters get to you so in particular on YouTube I'm on YouTube so I deal with a lot of hate comments a lot um particularly on one video i have which it gets people's attention which I, I knew was gonna be an attention grabbing video it's my video on i don't like mixed people and there's a question mark it's not like it's not a statement it's a question so a lot of people see that and they don't even look at the question mark and just be like oh she hates mixed people i hate her and just start writing crazy comments which is fine like they're gonna do that i kind of had a feeling they're gonna do that anyway but even after they watch the video sometimes they still hit like go in on me and <laughs> sometimes it's funny sometimes it's like whoa you're extra I never been the type to um, take time out of my day to write a mean comment like I love YouTube I'm on YouTube all the time if I don't like a video I just don't watch it anymore I don't even thumb down it I don't do anything I just keep it moving um, any comment that I've ever left left on a video on YouTube has always been positive because it's usually someone I really like and I want to be like hey girl I love your video blah, blah blah give them some encouragement I never have been a hater like it's not me I don't got time <laughs> even if I had time which I had a lot of time when I had my issues with my eyes which if you haven't seen that video check that video out um, I didn't have time to be writing mean comments on um, people's YouTubes or on their Facebooks or whatever uh, Instagram never been that type of person never will um, you have to realize number two <laughs> the people that are hating on you have a lot of issues themselves and if you think about it you should feel sorry for them because they took time out their day they probably have some self um, issues and you kind of just got to look at it from their perspective like dang they took time out their day to come at me crazy like they must really have some type of issue <laughs> that's how I look at it like I just be like okay they took time out their day they might they might even like me and just want to hate like there's a there's a fine line between love and hate but it's like it's like celebrities like you love to hate them you know what I mean like you love to just speculate what they're doing and the gossip that's going around like it's just like it makes you feel better about yourself it really does so you got to think about what's the motive behind it and then not take it so personal and make it affect your day like one little comment one little um, jab can affect a person's day and really mess up their whole day and back when I was younger it did affect me because I cared what other people thought but as I got older and I developed like a thicker st skin I don't care what people think about me honestly like if you look at the video that I was referencing I do comment back sometimes a lot of people are like oh you must really care about what they say and you must really take it offensive sometimes I feel the need to respond because either I want to educate them or they disrespected me in a way where I feel like unfortunately 
I might have to respond. There are times I don't respond, but yes, at first I was responding because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to let this person call me a bitch. I'm not going to let this person call me this, that, and third. But at the end of the day, it really don't matter. <laughs> I'm never going to see these people. And most of the people that troll on your YouTube, they don't even have a picture. So like, they don't even have a picture. Like, you don't even know what they look like. So it's like, there's no point. They're hiding, you know, and, and I'm not a hider. Like, I'm more of a... I'm a blunt outspoken person so if I want to say something I'm gonna say it and some people aren't like that so you just got to take it with a grain of salt number three <laughs> this is one where I've realized a long time ago that you may think a certain way about things okay you may think like everyone has insecurities right so I've learned to take my insecurities and kind of laugh about them and make them into something or make them into something positive. So when someone hates on you, someone says, oh, you're too fat. Oh, you're too skinny. Oh, you don't have boobs. Oh, you don't have whatever. You may already know these things. Like people just like to point things out that you probably already know. Like me, I know I ain't skinny. I used to be skinny. I ain't skinny no more. Like <laughs> I know people like to point that out. Oh, you're fat. You're ugly. You're this or that. I don't think I'm ugly, but I have called myself fat before anyone has ever called me fat. So <laughs> when someone does it, it's like it could hurt me, but it's like I'm so self-aware and know who I am that it doesn't affect me. So my, my position on number three is if you're self-conscious about something and someone points it out, yeah, you might feel some type of way, but at the end of the day, you know who you are. You know what issues you have to work out. You know everything about yourself. So really, they're just being extra and they're just saying what they want to say to get to you. And you shouldn't let it affect you because at the end of the day, again, you got to do you. You got to be like, you know, like, <laughs> like, what did you say? You know, like, you just got to let it roll off your back. And some people, they're not as strong. I know it's, it's a lot of people who are sensitive and I get it. I'm sensitive to a certain extent. Um, I just think that a year from now, two years from now, is this really going to matter? Number three should be a year from now, even six months from now. Is this comment or is this person that's constantly making you feel upset, is it going to affect you three, four, five, six months down the line? If the answer is no, let it roll off your back. That's what I would say. So, um... And those are like my three like little tips, but I will give you examples of how I've dealt with criticism. So before YouTube, before college, before high school, let's go back to middle school, elementary school. I was picked on, okay? Um, I think a lot of us have been picked on. I felt very low by myself. My self-esteem was extremely low. I barely talked. I was very shy. That will always be in me a little bit reason why I'm a very gentle person like I'm not that I've, I've never really I'm not a fighter like I'm a lover like I can fight and I can do this and that I don't want to it's you have to really push me basically it takes a lot to get me upset it gets a lot it takes a lot to get me mad that little girl is always gonna be there but as I developed as a woman I got stronger because your personality can change people around you can 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 um influence who you are so I had a friend back when I was in middle school very strong willed very blunt very out there very cutthroat very mean to be honest she helped me point blank she helped me without even realizing she helped me be a stronger person I had to stand up to her at one point I remember I was like eighth grade I had to stand up to her because she pushed me and she influenced me and I thank her even though yeah some things that she was influencing me was not good. <laughs> like, I'm the first one to say she was not a good influence. But at the end of the day, you meet people along your life that help you and that don't help you. But either way, they influence you in some way. So once I got to eighth grade, I started feeling more empowered. I started getting more confident. I got rid of my glasses. I had contacts. Um, I had lost a lot of weight because I played sports and I was getting taller. So I was getting more attention, feeling myself, whatever. And then high school came, the mean girls came out, you know, some girls, they, you know, they get jealous and they treat you a certain way. Um, some girls, 
they're very catty, there's rumors, things like that. I had a lot, a lot of things roll off my back. I could tell you a bunch of stories, but I don't want to take too much time in this video. Um, but yeah, having the strength to stick up for yourself, that's a big one. How you address haters is by either ignoring them or sticking up for yourself. And I feel like sometimes I stick up for myself in my videos and I comment back. Sometimes you'll see me comment back because I'm defending my position on something. Or, you know, if someone's calling me the B word, I'm going to say, no, <laughs> you're the B word, <laughs> you know, like, because you actually had the balls to come up to me who you don't know and say that to me. You don't know anything that I represent. So I stick up for myself constantly without being offended so what I mean is like actually I it's like you can be offended by what someone says to you but I didn't take what they said personally but I felt the need to address it so my thing is you can be a strong empowered person and still deal with these haters and be like you know what I don't care what they just said like I'm just keep doing me like me I'm still gonna make videos I'm still gonna dress how I want even though I'm big like I'm still gonna do what I want to do regardless of what anyone says and that is an inner strength that you always need it takes practice you're not gonna wake up one day and be like oh F the haters like it's not gonna be like that <laughs> it's just not like it takes so much time you know um I think support does help. I think a lot of people do like things that I put out there and do like who I am and that's that's good. It gives you that confidence. But confidence comes with it within. The actually I should have put this in, you know, as a fourth thing. Have confidence. If you're confident in what you're doing, no one can tell you anything. No one can tell you anything. Like be focused and confident. What anyone says won't affect you. And that's really what it is so um, I know this video was like kind of like all over the place I'm not a structured person I just want to put that out there like that's just not my personality but, but I wanted to address how I deal with haters it takes time it's not overnight and you really have to be self-aware of who you are and know that you're doing this for a reason and again if it's not gonna affect you a year from now no one cares and people they're bored putting that out there people are bored they want to get on you because they're bored or they don't like you because you have something that they want my great grandma used to say you better worry about when people stop talking about you okay you don't worry about when people talk about you you worry about when they stop so I worry if I'm not a topic of someone's conversation I really do because it's like I'm not doing my job like as Cat Williams says you need some haters you got some haters feel free to hate on me like you can give them to me you know because I know that I'm doing my job basically so yeah um i'm gonna wrap up this video because my camera is dying and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like more videos like this on how i deal with things or advice please comment down below like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe thanks guys